Hello Grade 11s! In previous grades, you studied finance and growth and calculated simple and compound interest. In this lesson, we'll join Mampo as she revises these calculations with Mandla. How do we grow money? It's no secret, you just invested at the bank. Let's say you have a thousand rand. If you put it in a shoebox and bury it in the garden, after a year, how much will you have? Is that a trick question? I'll have a thousand rand. Correct. Money does not grow very well in the garden. But let's say you invest it in a bank. After one year, how much money will you have? Um, I'll have my thousand rands plus interest. Right. Depending on the interest you were earning, you might have as much as 1,120 rand. Yeah, now I need to find myself a thousand rand and earn me some good interest. Yes, we already learned about it. It's what the bank pays you when you invest your money with them. Different kinds of accounts will earn different interest. A fixed deposit account, for instance, might earn you 12% interest. That means that every year you will earn 12% of the value of your investment. Time to use our calculators. Are you ready, Manza? Yep, I'm ready. On your calculator, put in a thousand rand. That's the amount we're going to invest. Now press multiply by 12 and either push the percentage button or divide by 100. You'll get an answer of 120 rand. That means that after a year, you will have earned 120 in interest, which is automatically added to the money in your account. So altogether then, you've now got 1,120 rand, correct? Yeah, I got it right. <laughs> Who said I couldn't do math? <laughs> so now, let's say you take out the interest you made, okay? Maybe you want to buy another cap. Oh yeah, very clever, because I still have a thousand rand in the bank, right? Let's say for 10 years, every year you take out that 120 that you've made in interest. So each year you will keep on earning 120. After 10 years, you will have earned 10 multiplied by 120 rand. Plus, you will still have the 1000 rand you started with. After 10 years, if you keep taking out the interest you earn every year, altogether you will now have 2200 rand. Yo, now this is what I call profit. Wow, Mampo, this is so simple. You're absolutely right, Mandla. It's called simple interest. Every year, you earn the same amount. But what's far more exciting if you want to grow your money is something called compound interest. It's what happens if you don't take out the interest you've earned at the end of every year. Economists call this capitalizing your money. I just call it clever. You're earning interest on your interest. Hey, I like it. Shall we do this? You need to be careful with your calculations. Let's work out how much money you'll earn over five years if you never take any money out of your account. Pen ready and calculator switched on. Let's go. Just one thing before we start. Don't round off any numbers until the end, even if it looks really long and messy, okay? Now firstly, let's draw up a table. Next to year, you write one. That is, first year. Next to capital, you write 1,000 rand. Next to interest at 12%, you write 120 rand. Next to total invested, you write 1,120 rand. Now we move on to year two. Next to year, you write two. Next to capital, you write 1,120 rand. Next to interest at 12%, you write 134,40 rand. Next to total invested, you write 1254,40 rand. Now on to year three. Now we move on to year four. On to year five. Next to year, you write five. Next to total invested, you write 1762,341,683 rand. So hang on, Mampo. Are you telling me that in five years we'll have a profit of 1762,341,683 rands? Yo, <laughs> this is so cool. That's compound interest. I told you it was clever. But there's a much faster way to calculate compound interest using a smart little formula. It goes like this. A equals P multiplied by 1 plus R to the power of N. 
Uh, Mampo, uh, can we do that again, please? It's as easy as ABC. A stands for the final amount you'll end up with. P stands for the principal, which is the amount of money you begin with. R stands for the interest rate you are getting. N stands for the number of years that you leave the money in the bank. I, I got to admit, man, this is not too bad. But tell me, uh, how do we make it all work? Let's do the same calculation we did just now by substituting our numbers into the formula. A equals 1,000 multiplied by 1 plus 12 divided by 100 to the power 5. Now let's work out the answer. Remember, we need to first calculate the value of the stuff going on inside the brackets, then to the power of 5, then times 1,000. You should get the same answer as we got when we did it the long way. 1762,34 rand. Are you with me, Mandla? Okay, it's uh, 12 divided by 100 plus 1 uh, to the power of 5 times 1,000 equals to 1,762 rands and 34 cents. Congratulations, Mandla. Now let's do some real detective work and find out how much more profit we are making by using compound interest. Have a look at this table and let's compare how much interest we are earning each year the money is in the bank. Next to year, you write one, that is your first year. Next to simple interest at 12%, you write 120 rand. And next to compound interest at 12%, you write 120 rand. Now on to year two, on to year three. Now let's move on to year 10. Now we move on to year 20. So next to year, you'll write 20. Simple interest at 12%, you will write 120 rand. Compound interest at 12%, you will write 9630 rand. Look at how every year you leave your money in the bank and in compound interest. The amount of interest increases, but with simple interest, it stays the same. Yo, after 20 years, you're like almost a millionaire, Joe. Not bad, hey, Mandla. Look at the way that every year, the amount by which your interest increases is going up all the time. Look how in year two, you're earning about five rand more than in year one. But in year three, you're earning about 15 rand more than in year two. The rate of increase is increasing. Yo, the increase in my money keeps on increasing. There's a lot of increasing going on here. Exactly. Check out what a big difference it makes after 20 years. With simple interest at 12%, you would have earned 20 times 120 rand in interest, which is 2,400 rand. But with compound interest, you would have earned 9,630 rand in interest. Not bad when you remember that you only started with 1,000 rand. Hey, Mompo, not bad at all. Think what I could do with 9,630 rands. This has been mind-blowing. Thanks a lot. That was a good reminder of how simple and compound interest work. Let's take a moment to revise the formulae we used to calculate them. The formula we used to calculate simple interest is called the simple interest formula. It reads, A equals P times open brackets, 1 plus I times N, close brackets. A is for the accumulated amount. This is the original amount of the loan or investment with the added interest and can also be called the future value of the loan or investment. P is the principal amount. This is the original value of the loan or investment and it can be called the present value. I is for the interest rate written as a decimal and N is for the time period over which interest is calculated. The time period is usually calculated in years. The compound interest formula is A equals P times open brackets 1 plus I close brackets to the power of N. A is for the accumulated amount of the investment after a period of time. P is for the principal or starting value of the investment. I is for the interest rate which must always be substituted into the formula as a decimal and N is for the time over which the interest is calculated.
thank you for joining us. Practice what you have learned by doing the questions in the Finance, Growth and Decay task video. You'll also be able to learn more about finance on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Keep it simple unless you have to compound it. Goodbye.